single time the promises of Christ's return is taught in the scriptures, it is always accompanied by a call to godly living. Every single time. God does not give us these promises and say, here's what I want you to do with this. I want you to make a chart. Here's what I want you to do with the end times theology. I want you to have a debate about it on YouTube. God does not give us the theology of the end times and say, I want you to be looking out the window. God doesn't give us the teachings about the end times so that we would focus on solar eclipses and blood moons and red heifers. He gives us the doctrine of his return so that it might compel us towards godly living. Every time the second coming is taught in the New Testament, it is always accompanied by this. 1 John chapter 3, everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure. This is the hope that we have and this should motivate us towards serving God with faithfulness.